You know, I'm thinking about life right now and you know, it's true that life has a tendency to give you less. You know, by default, you get the crumbs of life. By default, you get the minimum. No effort is required. Nothing has to change inside of you. You do not have to strive to get the minimum. But if you desire anything past the minimum, if you desire anything more, anything above than the bare minimum, there's a certain level of effort. There is a measure of change that is required that has to happen in the human being. You know, life, life is fair. I heard it put like this, it was a metaphor. Life is a fair employer. It gives every man or woman what it demands of it. Meaning, if you demand out of life, wife, children, the career you want, and you work to get it, you believe you could get it, you're gonna have that. But if you don't demand anything in life, you're gonna have to take what life gives you, the bare minimum. And it's so important that we be objective and, and confident in our own minds about our life and what we desire to what we desire to have in it, what we desire to get from it, what we desire to give to it in our life, to other people's lives. Napoleon Hill, one of the greatest, one of the greatest minds to ever live, Napoleon Hill. Look him up, bro. Napoleon Hill. One of the greatest minds, one of the greatest students of life to ever live. Once said, never accept anything out of life that you do not desire. And that speaks volumes to me. As many people have many things to say, many people have many suggestions to give, but those are suggestions that make sense for their life. Those are suggestions that make sense for their path. Their path may not be my path, so therefore I must be a man and think for myself. Therefore I must be a man and separate their desires from mine. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful to have a person in your life with like, with likewise desires. But it don't matter how many people try to persuade you to do something that's not in your heart, do something that's outside of your calling. You must have the belief in yourself, the fortitude in yourself, the confidence in, your in yourself to believe in your path, to go on your own way. You know what I'm saying? Never accept anything out of life that you do not desire. Consider your own heart before you consider somebody else's mind. It might have somebody, they want you to they want you to stay in this career field or they want you to, they giving you all this advice and they may be coming from a good place in their mind, they looking out for you, but they don't know the depth of your soul. They don't know the depth of the dream that God gave to you, your purpose to fulfill, you know what I'm saying? So you must think for yourself. You must believe in yourself, have your own mind, have your own desires, don't let nobody sway you from that. You know, consider your own heart before you consider somebody else's mind. It's your man's TZ. Y'all be blessed. Not my state of light in me, honest delight in you. Thank God for this revelation. Thank God for new life, for the chance to live today, the chance to maybe touch somebody else's heart, the chance to give wisdom. It's a blessing to be alive, folks. You know? Never accept anything out of life that you do not desire. If you have a lack of love in your life, do not accept that. Do not accept that demand more love out of your life, which means that you must get you must give more love if you want love. If your finances ain't right, you must become a better giver, then you'll be a wonderful receiver. Whatever the case may be, only accept what you desire out of life. This is your life, and it's important, and it matters in this series. Y'all be blessed, man. God bless.